Dutch Armed Forces Commander Onno Eichelsheim has stated that Ukraine is permitted to use Dutch-donated F-16 fighter jets within Russian territory, provided they adhere to the laws of war, NL Times reported. Despite Ukraine's appeals, Western countries, including the US and the UK, have restricted Ukraine's use of their long-range weapons like ATACMS and Storm Shadow missiles to prevent deep strikes inside Russia, allegedly aiming to avoid escalation. Ukraine received its first F-16s in early August, with up to 10 aircraft delivered and more expected later. We have not imposed any restrictions on the use and range of the F-16, provided that the law of war is observed. Eichelsheim said in an interview with NOS, the highest-ranking military officer in the Netherlands praised Ukraine's recent surprise incursion on Russia's Kursk Oblast as brilliant in practical terms. Ukrainian forces entered the region on the 6th of August and have since taken control of more than 100 locations along the border after targeting military infrastructure and airports in the area. They have taken over a large area in a good way, with few techniques, quite quickly. In doing so, they have created a dilemma for Putin, Eichelsheim told Nos. The commander of the armed forces would have no problems if such offensive actions include the use of Dutch weapons. The resources we supply can be used by Ukraine as it wishes, provided humanitarian law of war is adhered to. The Americans partly agree, says Eichelsheim, who is visiting his counterparts in the US. Previously, the US allowed Ukraine to use GMLRS rockets in the Russian territory near the border, but not the longer-range ATACMS missiles capable of reaching high-value targets such as airbases. They have other restrictions, but they have also supplied other weapons systems. At least we have the same line to make sure Ukraine wins the war. I think we are putting all our efforts into making this happen. Eichelsheim said, Ukraine has been using Western-supplied guided bombs in Kursk Oblast to destroy reinforced targets such as bridges. However, Ukraine is likely using its Soviet-era fighters for these attacks rather than the newly acquired F-16s. The Netherlands has made 24 F-16 fighters available to Ukraine, though Eichelsheim declined to specify how many have been transferred so far. On Friday night, air defense systems on duty destroyed 18 Ukrainian drones over four regions of Russia, the Russian Defense Ministry reported. The largest number of UAVs, 11 aircraft-type UAVs, were shot down over the territory of the Bryansk region. The military destroyed four more drones over the Kaluga region, two over the territory of the Republic of Crimea, and one over the Belgorod region. Earlier. Bryansk Region Governor Alexander Bogomaz reported that Russian military shot down 11 Ukrainian armed forces drones over the region's territory. According to him, there were no casualties or damage. He also thanked the Russian armed forces. But in Crimea, 
explosions rumbled near the airfield of Kurovsko, as well as near the city of Dzankoy. Three populated points in our region were attacked by UAVs. According to preliminary data, there are no casualties. In the village of Petrovka in the Belgorod region, as a result of the dropping of explosive devices from a UAV, the roof of a private house was breached, the windows were blown out. The owner of the house refused medical help. The neighbor's house was completely burnt. In the village of Bochkovka, as a result of the fall of the drone with subsequent detonation, the premises on the territory of the agricultural enterprise were damaged. As a result of an FPV drone attack, the roof of a private house was broken in the village of Gorkovsky, Graveronsk City District.